Okay, so it is the best Christmas ever. We just took possession of our Inspire 2, which is super rad. Here's the Inspire 1 Raw, and while you've seen all of the comparison pictures and uh, seen a lot of videos already, I'm going to show you some things that are standing out to me. First of all, the design of this one, while so similar to this, is rad and instantly just makes you love it. This is now the dork of the family. Sorry, buddy. Uh, but this thing is rad. The design, the front of the nose, how it uh, comes out a little bit here is super cool. And then how it tapers off in the back is cool. Overall, the bird, while it's not tons bigger, it does feel substantially bigger. The, the size of these motors is uh, one of the first things you notice. This crossbar here, this thing is massive compared to this. And uh, then the props. The, this is uh, the new prop. It feels really solid, like it's stiff. I don't know what exactly what it's made of. It feels kind of like plastic, but maybe some carbon fiber or something in there. Um, it's matte now instead of glossy, like the whole body. This, this uh, shell, this magnesium shell, is now a matte finish, and the gray is so just perfect. It's rad. And now the props, this guy is, uh, it looks like an inch, maybe a smidgen more shorter. If we line up the tips, if we line up the tips, let's see. It's hard to get them exactly, but somewhere in that zone, so you can see how much shorter it is. And these, so these feel substantially uh, bigger. And then these locks are so solid. I think the, the days of flyaway props are over. You can see the difference here in the design, how much thicker this, this uh, center post is. And it's got these channels in here, which the, this lines up to. And then just to do it, you've got to pinch these sides in, and it's stiff. And then when it locks in, it pops in. So I think those days are over. So, um, oh, and the front of this thing, which I was, let me turn this puppy around. Go nose to nose here. This, oh, the front of this, I thought this would have a similar feeling to these because I was used to these. But this is like rock solid. There, it's a, feels like a magnesium of some kind. It's metal, I believe, and does not move. I mean, you can pick it up with that piece and there is no bending or wobbling whatsoever. And then, of course, you've got your motor mounts down below and uh, the cool new, cool new mount for, uh, for this. You've got a button in the side and maybe that's just for the cap that goes on that we just took off, but there's a button here on the side and uh, yeah, we'll throw the, the camera on it here soon. Batteries are just about charged, so we're going to take it out for a test drive. Let's do it. Okay, let's give this little puppy a try. We're going to fly with one battery to get a little more time because we only have two batteries, which sucks. So we're going to just do some uh, flying, see how it feels. And let's do it, shall we? All right. Noticeably quieter than the I-1. Those larger props are awesome. Okay, let's transform it. And it's a good looking bird. All right, let's see what it can do. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I mean, it's fast, and the handling is awesome, but it's not like, uh, it's not mind-blowing. <laughs> that was pretty quick. I mean, it's great. This, the sports mode says its max speed is 45 miles an hour in, its, uh, in the app. So, I, on, the, on the speedometer, I'm getting a little higher than that, but not a ton. 
I mean, yeah, that's fast, but I think we still have a little ways to go to get to the 67 miles an hour. What it is though, is beautiful handling. Very smooth, very precise. For anyone who's flown a Mavic, you know what that feels like to have some software in between you and the heli. This doesn't feel like that. Okay, let me get some uh, let me get some mile per hour readings here. Okay, so I'm gonna go get cracking here. So quiet. Um, that's 41, 42, 44, 45. That's it. See, I don't know. I don't know if it's a software thing, like they're just waiting to unleash the beast. But uh, let me do attitude mode. See if that gets me any better. Go full speed on attitude mode. Got 49, 47. And this is a little downwind there, so that would account for a mile or two more. This is upwind here, 30. Uh, 39, 40. So we're looking at just a mile or two more than uh, P4 speeds. Let's do a couple of runs here. Yeah, I would say these are very similar speeds to what I was getting out of the Inspire. I would say it's pretty dang, pretty dang close. Okay, here we go. Fifty miles an hour, fifty two miles an hour. Got the train a coming. Okay, here goes our speed run in the opposite direction. 39, 40, 41. Had to correct a little bit. Yeah, so 52 in one direction, 40 in the other direction. That's a 45 mile an hour speed. Exactly what we're getting with the, uh, with the Inspire. And for a lot of us who's getting the I2, those speeds are important because, uh, you know, vehicle chases, things like that. Okay, so we are going to do, we just propped the camera up on the truck, so hopefully you can see. We're gonna run down the field a couple hundred yards and then race back. Mitch with the uh, P4P and me with the Inspire 2. So, let's do this. Okay, so get down level with me. We'll both turn back towards the, uh, the finish line here. Three, two, one, punch it.
Que mais? Mine totally won. I just don't get it. Two hours later. Oh. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So helpful. Now we've got much more of a tailwind than we did before earlier today. So our wind is going this direction. So we should get some pretty cooking speeds going this way. Let's try it out. That's going into a pretty strong headwind. Here we go. Man, it feels so fast compared to the Inspire one. Sounds so cool. That way I'm going 62, 63, 64, 65. I reached 65 miles an hour. Now I'm gonna turn around and go exactly in exactly the opposite direction. Coming straight at us right now. 48, 49, 49.5, 48 48.8, 49. Heck yeah. Yeah, that is significantly different than what we saw earlier today. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a, a little drop. We're gonna climb and then descend, and it should descend at its maximum 20.1 miles an hour. So here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so scary. Here we go, we're gonna do it again. Get back here a little bit. Here we go. Climbing at 13 miles an hour. And then here we go. Oh, it feels like it's free falling. <laughs> oh, are you seeing that, Mitch? Is it coming through? Oh, geez, that's scary. Okay. Here we go. Here's the climb and the fall. It looks like it is free falling. That's pretty gnarly. Okay, to wrap up. My feelings this morning when we first flew it was that there was something not right because all we could get is 45 miles an hour. In fact, we flew it against the Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro 1, both in sport mode. So then we went uh, and got the battery charged up and I thought maybe the reason we weren't getting the speeds is maybe it's handicapped a little bit when you only put one battery on it. So we fitted it with two batteries and sure enough, and I don't know if that was exactly what made the difference, but this evening we're getting about 55, 55 plus out of it. Significantly better than the Phantom, I mean the Inspire 1, uh, Inspire 1 version 2. So when you put those two side by sides, that is impressive. You can fly forward at max speed and climb at 13 miles an hour 
and then when you fall at 20 miles an hour, it looks like the, the heli is free falling. It's scary. It's just dropping like a rock. This one, when flying forward and climbing, you get about four and a half miles an hour of climb and 8.9 miles an hour of drop. So that thing is a beast when it comes to that and definitely fulfills its promise. And the speed is amazing uh, when compared directly to this. So if you take it out by itself, it feels kind of sluggish. And this morning it was sluggish, but now that we've got it with the full battery on it, it really seems to be doing exactly what it said it would do. So super happy, super pumped. Can't wait for my other remotes and cards and all that other jazz. So yeah, rock on.